Hi guys, once again, welcome back to my channel and uh, this is episode number two for the implementation of Cisco Unified application, which is Cisco Call Manager and Cisco Unity. In this episode number two, uh, I will share and uh, I will explain about the task list which I have created specially for the purpose of uh, implementation of Unified application or the migration. If you are going for a migration, you are going for the new implementation, this task list will cover all the important steps, configuration, tools, user level or server level implementation given as individual task. Because Cisco Unified application is not as a single application, inside one CUCM, there are multiple tools, multiple options, multiple optional and compulsory configuration, which is very important for you if you are going for any migration or a fresh installation. So guys, this task list is extremely important and you will find in my episode number one or episode number two and you can download it. And it task list is given as the percentage of each tool inside unified call manager so uh, let me share my screen with you guys now and we will start discussing about this task list this is the main page i have created and uh, then there is a document control document control is always very important to track down about the documentation which you are preparing for your any project. It is consist of the information of the version number, issue date and reason for any change. Because when you are going to deploy something and make a document, it always consists of multiple changes in your, in your, uh, in your documentation depend on the implementation or your design. So always keep this uh, document control uh, option available in your project plan or your task list so you will know what you have done so far and when the change is happened and what is the reason about that change the next thing is stabilize stage checklist this is the main checklist which i have created for the migration or a new configuration let's start discussing about this one it is the option mentioned here about the milestone then i have mentioned about the completion and what number of percentage you have and then there is the completion about each task what number of uh, completion you have done either 0 25 50 75 or 100 sometime uh, it doesn't require to complete at 100 percent you can get some detail by doing uh, 75 per percent of uh, of the completion or sometime 50 but we consider 25 percent as something like handsome implementation about this individual task so for example in the pre uh, migration basically this option number one a is based mostly on pre migration so if you are doing migration there is a tool in the cucm which call bat bulk administration tool this tool is very important to, to extract your existing information instead of you doing individual step. You can get all things with this tool, import and then you export in your uh, on the new uh, migration server. Okay. N next thing is the CUCM reporting section. In this you can also get the things. So I have created all this uh, this text uh, sorry uh, this checklist which might help you to complete your task depend on your uh, on on your requirement or your project plan however it cover all the things and you can do it as per your choice further thing like is related with the voice gateway show tech command is very important when you are doing the migration then cucm password is very important if you are doing migration without having uh, existing username password you cannot do uh, your migration to the new server then uh, document existing numbering plan what is your dial plan uh, IVR script recording SFTP server 
if you are going to import and export the configuration from old to the new one you should have sftp server username and password without this one it will not allow then ntp dscp dns and snmp server information this is very important without ntp you cannot proceed with your installation of cucm it will always ask about the ntp okay so some options are compulsory some are optional like ntp in this task is very important without this one you could not proceed but dscp is optional snmp is optional dns is compulsory okay so i this checklist will cover each and everything then cli diagnostic if you want to diagnostic you can run the cli diagnostic from the cucm after that there is uh, some other optional thing like itl cert on the phone this is also something optional so guys after that there is something important like backup custom ringtone and background images this is on your your phone then you verify your network connectivity between the cucm services like ntp dhcp this is also as an individual task which is compulsory uh, username password including all application so it will cover everything record tftp parameters record enterprise parameter which is very important enterprise parameters required uh, during uh, not during sorry after the installation to customize uh, your cucm parameters then there is uh, l3 logical drawing with ip addresses this is also part of your implementation either migration or new installation UCS server physical cabling drawing physical connectivity is very important you should know which cable you are connecting or on which level so it is also mentioned as individual task then excel sheet with ip addresses host name svr record you have to create one customized excel sheet enterprise dna record which is very important in the cucm cluster so this is basically uh, the migration or milestone task is number 1 it can be your migration or it can be your uh, new implementation depend on 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 your requirement the next thing is re related with the cluster okay if you are cre creating a new cluster you have to do all this task for example uh, cucm dial plan construction what will be your dial plan uh after that uh, the third one prepare new cluster for multi server certificate certifications or certificates are required in the cucm we will discuss as a separate episode uh after that redundant subscribers you have to create a multiple subscriber and publisher depend again on your requirement tftp and uh, cti servers and then cucm tool on your on your uh, vmware sorry vmware tool on your nodes which is also the optimization task the most important thing is here about redundant call manager group ntp date time redundant region so these all tasks are compulsory i believe your global dial plans your css calling search space construction and the deployment this is very important all these things should be completed as a single task and uh, after that ldap synchronization if you have a domain of course if you have organization either small big or enterprise level you have ldap and you have uh, to do the configuration of uh, ldap integration of your cucm with your with your domain otherwise if you have 100 200 you have to create each record which is itself a big task so instead of doing manually just integrate it with your ldap and it will import all the staff information uh, from your domain to the cucm after that is a disaster recovery which is very important without this one you are on high risk next thing is cucm feature configuration okay these are the basic or compulsory and some optional features which might needed or which might not needed depend again on your plan for example extension mobility it's a very strong feature in the cisco unified call manager then log out css or devices css configure 
partition, CSS lines, extension. So this is I keep it as a individual task. Then soft keys. Okay, this is part of your optimization because of course you have multiple levels in your organization. So you have to do the soft key depend on your organization structure and your design. So it is also as a one plan. Then configure user facing feature. In the Cisco Unify call manager, there are some feature which you are going to deploy on the server and some feature you are deploying on the user level. Okay, like call transfer, call waiting, call back, call park and retrieve, hunt group, intercom. So these are all things which make your system more comfortable on the user side and more easier on your enterprise level. So this one also I put as a separate task list. It's a big list, uh, sorry, it's a big list. You can consult it. Then CCM user web page functionality. We will discuss this one as well. Uh, your call forwarding restriction for call fraud prevention. You will not receive unauthorized calls. So this is also as a separate task. Then there is phone template, full configuration. We will make one template and deploy on your phone. Instead of we doing individual, we will make a template and do it on everything. After that, if you have Jabber implementation, which we will go as well. So it is all as a separate task. Then there is phone hardening, disable like this is related with something uh, security features or make uh, your your phones or your network more secure uh, in terms of intrusion. OK, I will not go brief at this level. We will see what is required in our implementation as a separate episode. So after that, we have IM. Uh, IMNP presence task. If you have IMP implementation, this task list will cover everything with your Jabber on iPhone, iPad, Android phone, your PCs. So it is also as an individual task. And uh, after that, there is Cisco Unity task list. This is the task list list for the Cisco Unity. Very important. We will see if we are going for implementation, which is most probably we will go with the, the Unity. So we'll do all this task list as an individual. We'll discuss it as a separately during implementation. Finally, voice gateway. SIP trunk is very important in your call because of course you will go for outside call. So we will configure voice gateway as a SIP trunk. And this is the milestone which you have to do it during your voice gate task list. SIP trunk with your COCM and voice gateway, configuring number, dial plan, SIP dial pair, everything we'll do as a separate task list. After that, virtualization task list. This is the most important that how you build, prepare your server. Basically, virtualization task list we will do in the in episode number three. Episode number two will be our configuration on, on, the, on the switch side. And then we'll do virtualization at episode number three, like how I will connect my physical server which is uh, right now here with CIMC, IP address, port grouping, uh, active active port, NTP, SNMP. So all these things we will do as a episode number three. So it is also as a separate milestone. Next thing is collaboration migration task. If you are doing migration, you have to fulfill all these tasks to import and export into your new servers as a separate milestone. If you want to connect your unified environment with your ISP to connect with uh, for the Cisco Jabber, then you have to configure Expressway C and C. So this is also I mentioned as a separate task list. And then audio and video conferencing system. If you have this system, you have to do uh, all these task lists as well. And uh, I believe this is finally okay. So guys, this is very uh, important task list, which uh, make a lot of time. Uh, I have, of course, consulted the Cisco documentation and uh, based on my experience with the deployment, I consist, I make this task list for you guys to make your life easy. So please don't forget uh, to watch this episode number two very briefly 
and you can get this uh, task list download uh, download from the description side so this is all the thing guys we are going to deploy mostly 80% will do it if we are not doing because i have to see my requirement as well because this is not a demo this is basically a real time implementation but for you guys this is really a good and very uh, comfortable and very helpful uh, checklist so guys <clears throat> this is our episode number 2 which i have discussed with you i hope you people uh, like this video and uh, it will be benefit for you guys and i will show you my servers this is my server this is our server this is the switch which i am going to configure in episode number 2 where i will create the vlan svi ntp and make the physical connectivity ready with my network then this is my ve6006 server which is a new model we will do a physical connectivity of uh, uh, this ve6000 with this switch and make uh, it ready for the installation of uh, cucm version 12 so we have done guys for our lab for today and uh, in the episode number 3 i will configure my switch and episode number 4 will be the configuration of cu cm cimc and then we will do the physical connecti uh, physical connectivity test so keep watching my channel i hope you have enjoyed this video this episode and stay tuned take care allah hafiz for the next episode